Let's look at the important differences in sample rate and memory depth between the Regal MSO7054 oscilloscope and the Tektronix MDO3054. These are both 500 megahertz oscilloscopes. The Tektronix is running version 1.26. In this test, we're going to characterize some high frequency noise that seems to be being injected into our signal. On the Regal, we can set this up at 2 milliseconds per division. Because we have 10 giga samples per second sampling on this channel with 500 million points of memory depth. So this allows us to really see a deep look in context of this signal. Out this far we can tell that there's pulses happening about every one millisecond. We're at 50 millivolts per division on the vertical in a 50 ohm mode. Now from here we can easily zoom in, really see what the signal is all about. We, because of the memory depth and the sampling rate, we can zoom all the way down to nanoseconds and past the nanosecond, down to 500 picoseconds per division. Now we can see the fundamental of what's really causing this problem. And we can go ahead and analyze that. Let's add a frequency measurement and set that frequency measurement up to look at the zoomed region. So now we can see we're capturing it right at about 1.5 gigahertz. So somewhere in our embedded device, there's a noise source at 1.5 gigahertz. Now we can use that information to find root cause and solve the problem that's injecting this noise. So here we are looking at the exact same high frequency noise signal using the Tektronix MDO3054. Here we can go out to 400 microseconds per division at 10 million points. So that's really the limit of their memory depth. And even with just the one channel on, we're 2.5 giga samples per second. So here we can start to see the pulses, time correlated. Now let's use their wave inspector to zoom in. We can zoom in down to one nanosecond per division and start to see the nature of that signal. The Regal 7000's ability to sample up to 10 giga samples per second makes it possible not only to capture but visualize and analyze high-speed artifacts within your design. This simplifies debug for a wide array of potential signal integrity issues that would otherwise be difficult to problem solve.